Hi everyone, Dave here from the Caravantastic crew and today's video is all about a little leak and I'll explain all next. So a few days ago we, uh, we had the misfortune of waking up to a deflated <laughs> inflatable horning uh, and so I took to sort of pumping it back up again which is hard work, it does take a bit of doing uh, especially for people of a certain age and uh, yeah, all seemed fine. And then about sort of 10 hours later, the whole of the um, awning is starting to deflate. So what we've got here is a Camper Rally 390 Pro. I think that's what it's called. So we need to try and get to the bottom of this and did some research on YouTube and found that actually it's fairly common. So it's not a new thing. And what I needed to do was close a number of valves. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So in between each of the, uh, I'll just turn you around and show you here. So in between each of the sort of struts, the sort of three areas of this um, awning, and in between each one you can see, I've still got a protective sponge on, but there's a tap there. Now they're normally open and they're in the closed position now. So I learned that if I close all of these off, and as you can see, the position all around the awning including up here in the roof if I close all those off and pump the awning back up again then I'll be able to find out where the leak actually is and what I found out was it was here in this center sort of strut if you like for what a better description that goes between the sort of center part of the awning roof and I've uh, I've closed those taps off, then I've disconnected. Can you see I've already sort of taken the trouble just unscrewing these bits here. Yeah, unscrewing there. Disconnected the hose like this one on this side. Because I unzip this. Not easy holding the camera if you're trying to do this demo. Unzip that. And then there's another protective film in here. And then inside that is kind of it's like an inner tube. It's maybe called a bladder. And I've got it on the floor here. So I was able to narrow it down to that's where the problem is somewhere in here and then what I noticed once I'd actually done this was in actual fact one of these valves has got a split in it and I'll just show so you. So if we can get in closer look can you see there? I might just need a second to focus. There you go. So there's a split in the valve and I can only assume that's happened when I folded it and put it away in the past and maybe that's caught and nicked somehow but that's where the leak was so I found there's a caravan accessory store quite close by that does camper accessories I can replace this for 20 quid I could possibly try a repair on that but I can't be bothered to be honest so we're going to pop out and see if we can pick up this uh, replacement and I'm hoping the whole thing is one I'm sure it will be bladder which will go in the centre strut over the awning there and then we should be able to do a repair job. We might also have a look at picking up some um, metal tubes that go into this corner flap here. Because we don't have those, we don't need them, but you can see I do get, it doesn't get too flush to the van. So we tend to get a bit of a gap if you're not careful. You can see what I've done there to try and keep that gap closed. Not easy if you're not, unless you're on level ground. So we'll get off to the shop and I'll catch up with you shortly. So what I've done is I've just put this, you can see here, the new bladder inside this sleeve that zips up. And I've poked the pipes through the holes there. So one at this end and one here like at this end so it's just a simple case now of zipping that up that's what I'm going to do not easy holding the camera <laughs> there we go. Oh, apologies for the shake right so that's zipped up at this end all the way through as you can see 
and then there's a little cable tie that fits through the zip here and through this little fabric loop. So I'll just put that on. And there is the cable tie through the loop. Just need to tighten that up. And the panel of the phone, which is what I use as my camera with one hand, and tighten this uh, with the other. So apologies for this. But there you go, that's that done. And then there's a little Velcro uh, protection piece that comes over here, like so. There we go. And then we have it. So we've now got the new bladder inside this protective tube. And then that goes inside here. And uh, then we connect up through these pipes. So I'll just do that and I'll show you what I mean. So we're in at this end, and I'll just and pop this end through the hole here. It's a wobbly camera, I do apologise. Well, there we go. So it's all zipped in here now, that's all good. And then the next job is to put these pipes back onto this connector. One thing to note with this is this little plastic split ring, which also has to go over this pipe here, like that. So that's ready for connection. So this pipe pushes in quite a long way, and then the split ring I was talking about, push that up flush to the thread, and then it's just a cushion of putting this plastic uh, housing back together. Now this is really quite tight when I try to take it off, so again I think it's got to go on pretty tight too. So I'll need two hands on this. Oop. So there we go, that's in nice and tight now, I've just got to do the other side. So that's pipe number two connected, all nice and tight. We're now ready to put some air in. Now what I can do is undo these taps, that will let air automatically flow from the rest of the awning back into this uh, central tube yeah, here yeah, uh, but what I'll need to do is just go and connect the pump because once I open those up the rest of the awning will sort of deflate a little bit so I better get ready with the pump let's give that a try so we've got the uh, hand pump at the ready we have got an electric pump for this as well but uh, currently the cable won't reach where I am so I'm just going to use the hand pump before I can do that I need to go and open the valves up inside the awning now. We'll go and do that. Now this is when the air will start to flow again all around, so open. You can probably just hear a little, maybe just be able to hear that. As you open that, the air just starts to sink through. So I'll open all of those. And what that will do, Eventually, oh, that one is actually open. And especially when I open these, I think that's going to take a lot of air from the. There you go. You heard that one, didn't you? That's all the air gone into the centre spar now, which is brilliant. But it means it's released air from other parts of the awning. So I'm just going to go and pump a bit of air in, but before I do, you can already see that that is really firm and it appears to be doing the job well. So I won't be able to hold the phone while I'm pumping, <laughs> but we'll see how we get on. One second. So we're now all pumped up, so I'm out of breath. <laughs> but that is, I'm really pleased, that is definitely staying up. You notice I've got all these valves open. Now, I suppose I could close them again, but. I normally I've left them open all the time I've had it. I've had it sort of bought it new about 18 months ago. And I've left the always left these valves open. Because I remember there was a little nick in, in this, in one of these. That seems to be holding well. So there you have it. My first bit of uh, maintenance on the camper Rally uh, Air 390 Pro. I think it's worked well. If there are any problems in the future, though, I'll let you know.
I also mentioned I was going to look at picking up some poles. Um, this, <laughs> these aren't a crucial requirement as such. They're an optional extra when you buy your camper air awning. But uh, I bought a pair of poles from this shop I went to yesterday and £24 for the pair. And you can see they are telescopic and you can lock these in two places. So one towards the bottom there. There's a point, you can't quite see it because it's in the ground, but there's a pointed bit that goes into the ground. And then as you come up here towards the top of the pole and the top of the awning, there's this um, well sleeve, I suppose you'd call it. And the pole here goes flat. I can't take it out now, but the pole uh, has got a flat edge to it, which slides into that envelope. And what they do is uh, you then put some ties. I've got around here, like a tie here, a tie there. There's another one further down. Put these ties round. You've got a nice spongy protection piece here, so you're not denting or putting any marks in the van itself. Uh, and it does keep it flush to the van, which is a I showed you on the video earlier, the problem we had was the side bits, well that's now really flush to the, the van and there's no uh, no gaps, no air getting through. Now, I'm pretty sure that when I take the awning down and put it up properly again, I'll get this an even better fit. But got one in each end and it really does do the trick really well. I also found out that I was pumping this awning up wrong for 12 months because uh, I never, like most people, didn't read the instructions, just got on with it. And I was actually connecting my pump to the wrong valve. I was connected to a valve which you let the air out with. Um, <laughs> and I can actually put this awning up really in about five minutes, which is brilliant. So that's what I really like about it. So there you have it. Well, I hope you find that useful and uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the feedback we're getting, really good. And uh, if you enjoyed that, give us a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. We're trying to build the channel now. It's coming along nicely. Your support, fantastic. See you again soon.